Morning all. Okay, let's have one or two games on the ICC auto pairing. Okay. Uh, which title players are on at the moment? Vidhok, GM3200. Have a look at him for a moment. Oh, he's not playing. Gambit101 and FM. And the last kicks. Oh, we've got a game. Okay, let's play maybe Sicilian for a bit of fun. Okay, thinking about the second move here. Uh, can I play Knight C6? Especially in cough, if you like, especially in cough. Um. If I play just e6, I'm asking for this uh, dark square bishop thing. I think I'm going to do this. I don't want to go into this dark square bishop strategy. Uh, just kick this bishop back and try and use um, my two bishops here. I want to keep this knight. Uh, I hope it's not totally lost. Knight f6, e5, knight d5. Um, doesn't look completely lost yet. So if I can castle, then I'm actually looking forward to b4 maybe. If he plays d5 here, d6 is dangerous for me. e5, okay. I, as long as I can castle, it might not be that bad. Okay, so let's see. E five knight e five. Aha. Aha. Now if I play knight c six then e five. If I kick this guy, bishop h four. Alright, so it's a bit of an uncomfortable position right now. Uh D six E five. How about Queen B6 maybe? D5, I can always give up Bishop here. Uh, I can take here first. I can take there. It's got, mm, I don't know. Maybe do that. So, um. Okay. A little bit of pressure. Okay, I think Knight c6 now, because I've got knight a5 on the cards potentially. Actually I'm on d4 anyway. Um, in fact knight a5 as a sort of move just to guard against d5 first before the automatic recapture. He has knight d5 maybe. That's bishop f6, knight b6, knight b3, knight a8, knight a8. Okay let's, let's do this. Okay, so can I just take here this position? So knight d5, bishop d5. There's e5 if he wants to try and win a pawn. Um, where's knight c6 there? e5, knight c6. Protecting the pawn, attacking the queen. So he's actually just given up this dark square bishop for not much at the moment. I don't know, the centre looks quite dangerous. I can play rook c8 and knight c4. Um, okay, so. Rook c8 here gives me knight c4. Let the centre come forward a bit. Or no, e5 is too dangerous. What about d6 for a moment? As long as my knight's not being trapped on a5. Uh, not just not yet anyway. So rook c8, knight c4 coming up. This dark square bishop seems to be enjoying the position a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to lose material now to that. Okay, is that a big deal? Probably is a big deal. Uh, 
Knight c4, bishop c4, there's a5, there's queen b5, doesn't help. Uh, so time to panic, maybe. Uh, what to do here? I think I need to give my knight a square somewhere. Uh, so that's c4. Hmm. Uh, this, this is really unfortunate, actually. What can I do about this knight? I can lose lots of pawns, so I don't have to do that. With knight b7, ab knight b7. <laughs> this is getting bad. This is getting bad. <laughs> Actually, it's pinned for a moment. Small mercy. The the b pawn is pinned to his, his queen, and he's got double pawns. So this might not actually be too terrible if I can play a5 and knight c5. Immediate disasters might be averted. And I've still got a 30 second clock advantage. So a5, knight c5. Uh, as good as queens on b4 here. Yeah. Okay, he's thinking here, maybe I don't know, he's a bit of a perfectionist. Wants to find a way to guarantee an advantage, but is there a way? Is there a way? Knight a4, I suppose, is close. Looks good, knight a4. Whoops. Um, oh, he hasn't gone for that. Okay, can I just let's take this bishop back? He's getting perilously short of time here. It's gonna be his last minute if he carries on like this. So, knight a4, though. Uh, what do I do? There's no answer to knight a4. Um, no decent answer. Queen a5. Queen back. And ends up losing another pawn. Ouch. So takes knight c5. b6 is also. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, he's pushing my queen all the way back. Oh, he hasn't taken yet another pawn. I uh, thought he might have done. Okay, let's just try and put this knight on d6. Mind you, then knight c6. So maybe time to take here to avoid total disasters. So bishop, uh, mind you, it is looking pretty bad. Um, Knight b5, rook e7, so knight f5, that's b7, so I think I have to do something about this primarily. So knight f5, okay, I might have queen c7 if his rook moves. What's his idea here after queen c7? He's got rook e4, that's queen d5, get one pawn back. I think it's very short on time. Okay, that's one way of dealing with it. Uh, can I go back for knight f5? If his rook moves, then okay. That seems a bit desperate uh, as a way of dealing with things. Um, knight b5, bishop b7 is possible here on that diagonal. Okay, so if I can just um, hold this diagonal for a sec, maybe put this bishop here. Oh, yeah, it's too short on time. He can't win this with five seconds. Oh well, uh, yeah, I think he has me uh, when truly. Sewn up, but um, taking too long. But I think I don't know if I shocked him with knight b8. I just wanted to keep the knight. Was the knight useful? Was this knight useful? Um, the the center. I mean, he's got everything he wanted really from the opening. Virtually, this knight's actually a liability. Yeah, it actually turned into a major liability. Of course. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Mess. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.